Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be completely different. I might show you guys some of the workouts I do. It's gonna be glute isolation, but also I'm gonna be taking you guys on a journey on what I eat in a day. And um, yeah, so today we're gonna make sure we focus on eating really healthy, but still things that have um, a, lot of, a lot of calories, a lot of protein, right babe? Is it a lot of calories? <clears throat> I'm eating eggs and soy riso. You guys, I do not eat pork anymore at all because I just feel like um, it's just like not healthy for the body, for the mind, and for the soul. So I completely cut out pork and like the next thing I might cut out is either seafood because of all the mercury it has or like red meat. I'm not sure, but I really don't like seafood already. So I, that might be the next thing I cut out, but I'm not sure because I really do love like yellowtail sashimi, like the jalapeno on top. Like that's so good. But um, yeah, so you guys, I am eating. I'll show you guys instead of telling you guys. So this is what I'm eating, you guys. This is eggs with soy riso. Um, so it's a soy based chorizo. Then it's uh, baby potatoes and avocado with my protein shake because I like Ooh, these nails are so bad um, with this protein shake because it's so good. You guys, look how cute my little cup is. Also, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the vitamins that I take and supplements today as well because that is part of my resume. So, yeah, that's basically it today. Leg days usually require me to be in the car a lot longer than arm day. Arm day, I'm like, let's fucking go. But when it's leg day, I'm like, let me soak it all in. Let me mentally prepare. Let me go in there and fucking kill it because you guys this is one thing about like this whole series like nobody said it was going to be easy and it's not easy it's not easy but it is very much possible you just have to put in the work and just understand that if you kind of put in the work you're kind of gonna get the results and if you really fucking put in the work you're really fucking gonna get results so it's like really up to you how much how much do you want out of it like whatever you put in you're gonna get out kind of like what you put in your body you are you know what i mean so it's like if i go in there and i half ass it i'm gonna get half ass results i'm i'm i'm, I'm see results because i'm doing the work but if i'm doing the work without even putting in the work really then i'm not really gonna get the results that i'm looking for and that i want so i know some might be like oh but if you stay in the car it might just like uh, make it more of a drag but no actually staying in the car waiting that five minutes listening to like some hip-hop or some dope shit that i'm like into and just like bumping to it and just mentally preparing and visualizing and when i say prepare what i mean is like visualizing me doing the workouts and pushing through and being strong and becoming better than the day i was yesterday and seeing results and like i mean i'm not even really supposed to say this but i'm not gonna say the amount because i kind of don't want to say anything until i show you guys but i'll probably do a weigh in week three but i'm already seeing progress if you know what i mean so it's week two mid week two and um, we're about to finish week two and i just feel really fucking good about like this whole series i'm really happy that i'm filming this because it keeps me accountable believe it or not like i don't know if one of you guys want to start your youtube channel or have been thinking about doing a youtube start with your series like It'll really keep you accountable. It'll give you the content that you need for it. And it'll also keep you kind of accountable. So, like, I don't know. But I'm really happy and I'm about to go in there and fucking kill it because my time is up. I've been here, like, about 10 minutes and I am ready to fucking go. What workouts am I doing today, by the way? Um, hip thrust for sure. Hip Donkey thrust? Donkey kicks. Donkey kicks. We're going to squat. Light. We're going to do light squats because... So, like, 10 pounds? No. 15? just lighter than you usually do i did 25 yeah so like 15s got it only because you know even though we want to get stronger it's not good to like put your muscles through so much like vigorous activity like all the time like you don't want to go heavy every time you train legs since we're gonna do it three times a week you still want to do the movement but you don't want to go super hard because you don't want to go super hard every day because it will be like overtraining. so it, at the end like you actually start getting weaker doing that, so. That makes sense. By the way, you look sexy. Babe. <laughs> I'm sorry. The third sorry. Eye. sorry. Interrupted you. Okay, so you said one set of, well, how many sets? Three sets of squat or one set? No, we're gonna do three sets. Okay, so squats, hip thrust. 
um, single leg hip thrusts. Single thrust, leg hip thrusts. Donkey kicks okay. and lunges. Light what? lunges. Yeah. Oh, that that sounds like a leg workout to me. This is another thing that really helps me. Like, I complain all the time when I'm working out. Okay, you guys, that's the honest fucking truth. I'm like, uh, three more. Uh, I don't want to do that. Like, uh, wait, like, I, I want to, you know what? I want to really tell them something. Of, I really kind of like do that, you know? Like, but I have this rule where, like, I go into the gym and I'm like, okay, look, one rule no fucking complaining. Just do the fucking work complaining isn't gonna do shit like it's not gonna make you not do the workout it's only gonna create negative energy it's only gonna tell your mind that you can't do it so like i really have this thing where as soon as i step in the gym as long as i don't complain i literally push hard and like i already know like it's banned in my mind and in in, in the gym no complaining and as long as i don't complain i literally feel like i have an amazing workout because i push myself like if there's no room for complaining you just gotta do it and then when you're already there doing it you might as well just push yourself until like you can't do it no more right like push yourself hard and keep going what's your pre-gym routine babe like what do you do to get mentally ready for this, for this i kind of explained it i listen to hip-hop i listen to music i mentally prepare i visualize myself doing the workouts i do like knowing what i'm about to do before i go in because i kind of like have this like schedule in my mind i'm like okay so first it's going to be squats then it's going to be hip thrust and i'm like okay hard it's like they're all going to be hard workouts all of them it's only five today right and calves right but mm -hmm. it's like hard workouts but i'm like okay it's okay because well okay. you're not gonna go super hard on the set i'm gonna tell you guys something so i know a lot of you guys think that just because africa has me that it's gonna be easy for her to reach her goals but it's hard because since she's my wife she feels like she doesn't have to do the sets the reps that i got that i that i tell her to do like she feels like she, since like we're so comfortable with each other she's gonna be like no i don't want to do that i truly feel like that was before though because now i really don't complain so if it's someone that's like brand new like a new client they're more inclined to do what i tell them to do because they feel more pressure on them i guess yeah like if any of you guys were to train with him i kid you i really doubt that if he told you you gotta do a super set of 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 hip thrust 45 pounds and then 25 on each and then after that you're gonna do 16 and then no weight six another 16 like if it was that intense although it sounds like crazy you guys would be like oh shit but you're like okay for me it's like really anthony really yeah because in the beginning up. when we used to train she would just she'd have to do it you know but now she's more comfortable with me she's just yeah so she's like but i don't uh, do that i really don't do that though you were doing that like i would say like a couple months ago or at least a year ago oh yeah for sure for sure that's why i said in the in the series that i'd say now that the series started you haven't done it because i made that rule of like don't complain yeah just fucking do it because mm -hmm if i complain then you get upset and then we f kind of argue or fight like it's true you guys like i get frustrated because i'm like fuck are you serious anthony like i literally like you literally just had me do romanian lunges and then hip thrust and then single leg hip thrust and then six sets of squats like you you really want me to do another pair of like lunges with with the smith machine like are you crazy like i used to do that Babe. but now i'm just like honestly if i just That's know i just don't complain and if i literally just l like let him train me i'm literally gonna to see fucking results and are like i don't think we have fought not once at the gym since these two weeks babe let's go yeah but am i am i lying now mm -mm. we've been really good and that's because i don't complain and that's because i mentally prepare myself in the car and then that's because i really want to see change and like i said i'm in like a really good place right now in my life i'm extremely happy i'm extremely motivated i had to work on like my depression and anxiety to get to this place and now i'm here like now i am about to do it and now, I'm, about to, now i'm opening the door because now we'll stay in here another 10 gym. minutes so yeah this is my gym bag you guys obviously i have to have my build a booty bands i have the i love this color pink this band for pull-ups because we still have to do a set of pull-ups and then just like all the other goodies and stuff my i like having my own um barbell stuff but yeah so this is my little gym bag that i take so this is my gym fit you guys just some regular black shorts 
and then um this sweater that i am crazy for wearing is because anthony blasts the ac in the car so then obviously i um get cold in there but it's super hot in here and i'm just gonna take this off and yeah favorite shoes to work out you guys don't need to fucking spend seven hundred dollars on some balenciagas you guys can literally get the mock-up ones like the fake ones that are literally like 40 bucks and i think they're really comfortable to work out in um i have some champion ones that cost me like i want to say like 70 60 bucks probably just like the balenciaga ones they actually mimic kind of like champion kind of mimic this design the only difference is that that ones are pink those are pink so i don't really wear pink as much with like my crazy outfits but um yeah basically i'm about to work out you guys and get these things Right, guys so it's one i am well actually i started it's not one it's about to be one it's like 12 something and i'm about to take my oh my nails i can't i can't you guys i can't i'm getting them done today i have a nail appointment today but anyway so these are all the supplements i take to be honest i'd like to, to tell you exactly what each is but i kind of know the rundown of it. but yeah you guys um i have heard and i do recommend for you guys to not just take any vitamins i heard that you should be prescribed them or recommended them because you don't ever want to overdo um your vitamin intake so um i know i'm on like vitamin c vitamin d um because i'm low on like vitamin d and that's kind of true because i'm not really out out like in the sun that much so that makes sense although i have a beautiful beautiful backyard believe it or not i'm really not there i'm like this is like my little work office my little space this is where I'm mostly at most of the time and um, not really out. So I do take vitamin D. Some of them are a lot of, they're all supplements. They're all like natural like things. And some of them are for like my gut and some of them are for like my, um, some of them are like, uh, I take like grapeseed uh seed extract or something like that and that's for um the candida that i had in my body and another one is for like parasites to like let them not like survive in my stomach because i did have two types of parasites in my stomach they're mainly for like gut health i take like a glutamine powder um that's for my leaky gut although i'm in like in the process and i'm really healing i'm like 80 percent healed i'm still not fully done so i'm still taking a bunch of supplements i know some are for like i forgot what part of the stomach is con is connected to like energy and he has me on that as well because i do sometimes lack energy not lack energy but i do so much that i need to have energy at least throughout like you know 10 12 hours of the day so he gives me natural remedies natural supplements for that and yeah basically that's like all i take so i'm taking that right now because i usually chug like like not a full fiji but like it was almost full so of like water taking all my supplements and then after this i'm going to eat so i'll show you guys what i eat right after by then it should be one it's a good time to um 
eat my lunch just because I do take my breakfast and then right after chug my shake. Um, so I have enough calories in just because like my workout, like from like leaving the house, getting ready, like all that, like preparing to leave, going to the gym, filming, being there, warming up, doing my warm up set, working out, stretching after, leaving the gym, coming home is about three hours. So I can't eat during that time. So I, I that's why I take my shake right after my breakfast. All right, you guys, so this is my lunch. I have more here. It's just like really limey and watery because that's how I like it, but there's a lot more. And then um, these are my tostadas. They're gluten-free tostadas. And then this is a salsa you put on top. And I swear to God, this is so good. I think it's shrimp and octopus, but it's so good. And these are the, the tostadas I get, gluten-free. It's so, so bomb. All right, you guys. So I just showered, cleaned up. <laughs> like I was saying, I just showered, cleaned up. And now... Um, I'm doing this video because I literally forgot to, like, I already, like, rinsed my cup. But I just did, um, took another protein shake. I like to get it out the way because I won't be home probably until, like, 7 p.m. So I'm going to be running back and forth. And although I was still kind of full from the ceviche, I kind of just chugged it down because I know I'm not going to be able to eat till, like, 7 um so yeah so basically that's that and i will see you guys later you guys i am now at my chiropractic appointment i left my breathing doctor and now i am at my chiropractic appointment to get me all right in the line i think it's very important to do these things to have my body perform at its max capacity yeah and i haven't seen her since i got my breast done and all these surgeries so i'm really excited to see how my body does you guys look how pretty this time of the day is it is so pretty anyways you guys i ended up coming home a little past seven because I got my nails done, I got them fixed. Sorry, you guys, I started eating because I forgot because I was starving. Thank God I left extremely, extremely full. This is just like a day in my life, um, but I feel like a lot of people can relate because a lot of you guys have school, work, kids, like just a lot of things going on. And it doesn't really matter like, oh, you have to eat at seven in the morning and you have to have your lunch at 12 and you have to, <laughs> Like, that doesn't really matter as long as you're eating what you need to eat. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, I didn't skip any meals today. I went a long time without eating my dinner. But this is technically my last meal of the day. Usually, I do eat around 6, 7 p.m. My dinner. And when I eat at 6, 7 p.m., sometimes around, like, if I'm still up by like 9 or 10, because you guys, I got to sleep by like 11, like to be honest with you. Sometimes 12, but it like depends. Every day is so different for me. Sometimes when I have my last dinner around 6, 7, I will get kind of, not like hungry, but like kind of hungry at night. And what I'll do is like I'll have a yogurt, I'll have a banana, I'll have cereal, I'll have like gluten-free like bread, like a piece of bread with like almond milk. I'll have that, but today that possibly won't ha it won't happen for sure because I'm eating so late that like I'm gonna be hungry till the morning, you know. But this is what I eat in a day. This is a real life situation. But yeah, so you guys, today was an extremely successful day. I had an amazing workout. I had a great productive day. Got a lot of things done. Went to go see two of my doctors, my breathing doctor and my chiropractor. Um, she, did, I kind of want, oh, I forgot to mention that. I did want to kind of talk about what she told me. She told me that like, because I've been getting really bad headaches lately. And she told me that had to do with like um, the tenseness of like any type of jaw surgery or like gums or anything around this area tenses up in the back. And I felt it when she was like, like uh, lining me and she cracked my neck she cracked my back it, it felt amazing though like i felt i like stood up and i felt like a little noodle but like i felt really good like a good noodle you know what i mean like a thick <laughs> i'm just kidding but yeah you guys that's basically my day i'm gonna have dinner i am gonna just like prepare <coughs> sorry prepare for bed and probably oh actually no i have to submit something 
but that won't take long. That'll probably take me like 30 minutes to an hour, maybe max. And after that, I'm gonna get ready for bed and I'm going to read, um, probably cuddle with my dogs, probably ask Anthony how his day went. Although we live together, work together, and that's my hubby. Um, he ultimately, um, although like, all that i think it's very important that at the end of the day when you wind down you ask them how their day went and stuff so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know uh for like a day <clears throat> of what i ate in a day if like this is what you guys were looking for or um you guys were looking into like more in specifics to be very honest with you guys oh i didn't even show you guys what i ate i just said i was eating so i'm sorry you guys i dug in before i could even let me show the nails because you know i had to redeem myself but this is chicken a piece of corn and then this is like um uh what is this called like a cold salad what's it called potato salad potato salad with like olives i love olives you guys and all that stuff but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video look you guys i started this video when like it gets like dark so fast it's so beautiful it's like my favorite time of the day when you know the sky is that color anyways you guys thank you so much for tuning in this video and i'll see you guys in the next one what do you guys want to see for the next one let me know let me know what do you guys want to see for the next video um do you guys want to see like an upper body workout do you guys want to see like what do you guys want to see let me know